Retro Rock plays everything. This is the GB Station. I picked it up off of eBay for about 15 bucks. The GB Station looks a lot like a Game Boy SP, but does it run like one? Well, who the heck knows? I'm guessing it doesn't. I'm guessing this is a Fama clone, but you can't really tell by the packaging. Look at it. Pretty funny, right? I think that's Mario 3D, isn't it? I'm gonna guess almost none of these games are on here. Well, let's go find out. Shall we? It looks like there's a manual in here. Ooh, yeah. It's a beaut. And it's upside down. And it's still not in English. So uh, there goes that. But uh, there's uh, there's a manual. Here is the device itself. We'll talk about that in a minute. Looks like a charging cable, a battery, and oh my! Look at that! It's got a cartridge for it. It is not a uh, Game Boy Advance size cartridge. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go get a GBA cartridge to compare to. Okay, there is a GBA cartridge, and here is the cartridge for the GB Boy, GB Station. Oh, what's it matter? What do you think GB Station stands for? Great Britain Station? Great, forget it. But uh, yeah, so different size. Let's assemble this thing. Oh my. Okay, so that comes off. I'm glad they didn't put the screw in there. I hate that. Here is the battery. Nice that they included a rechargeable battery. I almost prefer on these devices. In fact, I prefer on like every device if they just do a double A. Sort of indicator. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Snap the top back on. And uh, let's see if it just powers up right away. Um, it doesn't actually feel too bad I huh I gotta say this is probably a little bit better built than the uh, the fake Game Boy Advance I've got uh, SP I've got I mean this one also is a fake SP but this one I'm pretty sure doesn't run any Game Boy Advance games hold on man let's go pull that other one out alright so uh Here's the GB station, and here is the fake Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, you'll notice they're a lot alike. They do look a lot alike. And this, I assure you, is totally fake, by the way. But this one, believe it or not, actually feels better. It's got a little bit mushier buttons, and I like mushier buttons. And the D-pad feels actually good. I'm kind of surprised. It's got select start. Uh, there's... What I assume is, yeah, it's a reset button. Uh, if you look on the edges here, you've got a couple of shoulder buttons and a little spot for a lanyard and what appears to be a charging port. In fact, it definitely is a charging port. How do I turn it on? On the side right here. So let's turn it on. And uh, it appears to have a bunch of games in it already. We got... The 999,999 in one. Wow, I, it's got Snow Brothers on it. It's got Zombie Nation. Whatever the heck that is, I've never played that. Let's see. <laughs> Acting excited for a game, I don't even know what it is. Hey, you can see my face. Hello. Get a little bit less light in here. Hold on a second. Ooh, it's Samurai Zombie Nation. Let's press, press start. That lit. He's got a big old head. Um, I don't know if the game's supposed to be laggy, but it 
it feels very laggy, I gotta say. That said, I mean, other than the, um, other than the lag, the controls actually feel really, really good. I'll be darned. Okay, let's try something else real quick, see if this lag's still in there. Take a look through World Cup Soccer, Tank. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get a little bit closer. In fact, hold up. Let's see. Snow Brothers, really Snow Brothers? Looks like it. It is. Sorry about the glare. Let's see if I can lean it forward a little bit. Don't know what it's saying. Come on. Hmm. Well, the lag is not evident here, so it must have just been that game. Oh, that was... Nice. Well. I'll be. Alright, let's go look at something else real quick. And then we'll uh, take a look at the cartridge. I mean, if you got 999,999 games... Why the heck do you need a cartridge? Yeah. So, yeah, it definitely repeats. And then they sneak other ones in. And of course it is... As expected... All NES games. Or Famicom games. Pick your poison. Not bad. Other than my gameplay. This controller is possibly one of the best darn Famiclone controllers I have ever dealt with. Huh. Now, note that I am saying it is one of the best Famiclone controllers I've ever dealt with. Famiclone controllers are really bad as a general rule. All right, let's go try and put this cartridge in here. Sorry, it's kind of fuzzy. Ooh, it does not fit in. The heck's up with that? It's stuck. It is stuck? Stuck? No, it doesn't go this way. It only goes this way, but it goes in. Goes in at an angle. That love affair is over. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's the. 8888A1. <laughs> There's Double Dragon 2. And it really is Double Dragon 2. I'll be darned. Come on. Very nice. Let's try one more. It's just crazy how many games there are. I mean, there's Twinby. I love that game. Dig Dug, you want to do? Let's do, uh, heh, <laughs> Deep Flower. Oh, that's not a good name. Let's do Dig Dug. What the heck? Yeah, sure enough. Sounds a little bit iffy, but as I recall, the NES version was like that. It was a little bit, a little bit iffy. Well, 
I'll be darned. Let's uh let's talk about results. All right, so here's a little surprise. When I was looking at the uh, device, I noticed that there was a port in the back that I kind of skimmed over earlier. Looking at it, I realized uh, it did say AV at the bottom. I had assumed it was just a headset jack, but come to find out, it does have video out. Now, it does not include the cable with it, but if you get yourself an AV cable, and they're really cheap, if you get them from China, they're like a buck, uh, you can play this on your TV through your AV jacks. And you know what? If you take a look, it looks pretty good. Its output is uh, pretty clean. Now that is partially a function of the uh, jack that I'm using, you know, that I'm using a halfway decent jack, but as you can see, it's definitely acceptable output. Uh, so one of my knocks against it is now gone. And in fact, I gotta say, um, I have very few knocks against it. All right, I gotta quit playing. Let's go summarize. All right, so in conclusion, the first thing I'd like to say is that I got the price a little bit off at the beginning. Uh, this is $17.50 delivered. I forgot to put in the shipping. Uh, this did come from China, so it took about a month to get here. So note that if you're ordering one on eBay, you're not actually going to be looking for the GB station. You're going to be looking for the Retro Mini handheld game player built in 200 games portable video console. If you get lucky, you might get it on an auction and get it a little bit cheaper as well. Um... To summarize everything I really have to say about it, uh, number one, I think the uh, general build quality of the thing is way higher uh, than my ripoff Game Boy SP. This thing actually, it it feels nice. It feels like a, it feels like a low-end OEM. I mean, you're not going to mistake it for a Nintendo product, but it definitely does have a pretty good feel to it, and it looks good. If you look at the fit and finish, everything lines up. It looks really good. Um, as far as the controllers go, it's got just the right amount of mush. If you hate mush, you're not going to like this controller, but this is a lot closer to our original Game Boy Advance controller than that thing was. Uh, one of my big complaints was it was super stiff, and I don't like a super stiff controller. Uh, this has the right amount of mush. I really did enjoy playing it. Uh, which I, I'm just saying I, I was really expecting a cancer stick like I usually get I know how you guys love it when I get a cancer stick but uh, it really is it really is pretty nice uh, note that this is not a momentary switch like a real uh, Game Boy would be uh, also if you look if you look right here you can see the coloring's a little bit off you know you see can you see that I don't even know what I'm talking about. You see how the mold's just a little bit off. You can you can see that little bit of line just on the deck. On the top, it doesn't have that. So uh, just note, you know, it, it does have that. It's not like a top end product, but it's not bad. Uh, other things about it that I want you to know, I don't think I mentioned that the volume on this is actually pretty high. I really like the screen quality. There is no ghosting. I mean, really, just a very clear screen. You can't even see it very well here, but it's got a very nice, clear, colorful screen. Everything looks great and plays great on it. Uh, I Again, I was expecting some hate for this thing, uh, but I didn't get a whole lot. If I have one real complaint about it, it would be the fact that the cartridge fits in really weird. It looks strange when it's in here. However, the cartridge did work on the first try, and I had no problems actually fitting it. Um, I love the fact that it has an AV out. It's too bad they didn't include the cables, but they're a couple bucks if you get it on the Chinese market and wait a month for it. So you might want to order that right away when you get it, or you might get lucky. Who knows? They change their packaging all the time. You could end up with one. Uh, finally, USB connector cable. It feels a little bit weird uh, when you're charging. You can see there's a little bit of a space there. Uh, I wish they would have included a head for this so I could just plug it into the wall, but of course I got dozens of those laying around so I'm not real worried about it. I don't know the charge time on this and I don't know how long it will last but I'm assuming it's going to last a long time because it's got a uh, it's just got a regular LCD screen on it and there's no real guts to speak of. So uh, all in all at 1750 I am absolutely giving this sucker a thumbs up. An unquestionable one and a surprise upset. I really ordered this 
so I'd have something really cancerous to show you. Uh, but it, it's actually pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for a Famiclone and you don't need a second controller uh, for two players, I would say that this would be a good one to try out because it's got mobility, uh, it has the ability to plug into a TV, and it's pretty well constructed. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll be back on the GPD XD and the GPD Win. No, <laughs> sorry, the GPD Win's still out of order. Uh, the GPD Pocket in a few days. Actually, the GPD Win does work. It just has a problem with its HDMI port. I gotta get around to fixing, and I have not had time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos